this video started. Yo, 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 yo. If they know, they know. It's your boy Smoke News TV. We back here with another video. Y'all see that like right there, ladies and gentlemen? That thumbs up. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have subscribed. I don't know what you're waiting on. Keep that notification bell on and share this video on all platforms. But that like button, smash the like button. It's free. It ain't going to hurt, cost, none of that. So we got to talk about Rich Homie Kwan, man. May him rest in peace. My condolences to his family and his kids because that's a sad situation that happened. It really is, to be honest. And it's people are like assuming, oh, yo, they got something to do with the YSL trial, yo, man. Y'all gonna oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Just slow down a little bit, y'all. Know what I mean? Because that's what Smoke here for. Because I was gonna drop, the, I was gonna do the video yesterday, but I said. Let me let a little 24 hours go by, see if they got anything new pop up. Ah, ah, ah. Obviously, we haven't got nothing yet as far as the autopsy, none of that yet. They're probably going to drop that tonight or tomorrow, whatever. But according to what we found out, we got an audio yesterday from the 911 call from his girlfriend that called that 911 dispatcher, and she was on the phone. According to his, to his girlfriend that he lived with her, whatever, I guess they, they shared a child together, whatever, his baby mom, whatever the situation is. According to her, he came in, crashed out on the couch. She went down there, put a blanket on, the, put a blanket over the homie. I'm gonna let y'all hear the full audio too. Put the blanket over the homie. She kind of felt like something was kind of spooky. Went back downstairs, I guess. I mean, looked at him, whatever. I guess. I mean, phone was coming out of his mouth. He was cold, heart stopped, everything. May him rest in peace. Sad situation. But see, that whole situation sounds crazy. To that's why he about like, yo, hold oh, no. He just, he, they just brought his name up in court at the, um, at the young thug trial, you know, little Woody and all that. Okay, so what that mean? But you know what I mean? You know, Quan snitched, what, two, last year, whatever. They got him on audio. Yeah, we're going to play that too. We're going to play all this. We're going to review all this. And I'm going to react to all this. Because I got a lot of smoke and a lot of opinion I want to talk about. Because there's one thing we could say it probably was an accident. It probably was an old day. Possibility. Very high possibility. Because we're going to play a clip where he had a very high addiction, according to Rich Homie Kwan, which he speaks on on the clip that we're going to play on, on No Jumper Shot to No Jumper and Shot to our other clips. But then we got to find out who he was with that night. Who the hell he was hanging with? Who he was chilling with? Not me, female. What? That's another thing. Nigga might have had a lot of side chicks, allegedly. And everything I speak on this video is alleged. So we got to react to all this. And we got to, I mean, we, cause it's a lot of little situations in this. We just can't say, yo, he just OD'd on the couch. Like, nah, nigga, what time he took it, where he was at when he took it, what, I mean, who gave it to him, who he was with. Th those are the questions that people got to know. People want to know. Then we got Rallo speaking too. Shout out to Rallo, because Rallo always stay on the, on the topics. Oh, yeah, people giving them fake love and this and that. Man, we're going to react to all this because this is crazy. So do me a favor. Y'all see that like button? Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And make sure y'all share this video. Copyright fair use disclaimer. You can find that in my description on my channel. Everything that I speak on over here on my video is for educational entertainment purpose. Again, copyright fair use disclaimer. You can find that in my description on my channel. Everything that I speak on over here is for educational entertainment purpose. Clips and videos I play are also owned by the original creators. So we're going to get straight to it, man. Let's get straight to the news clip, man. Rest in peace to um, Rich Homie Kwan, man. For real, because this is a sad situation the way. And the, and the boy was on it. I thought he was in his late 30s, to be honest. 33, 34 years old, man. Telling y'all, man, stay off them pills, y'all, man. It's a spooky world out here on that, on that, on that, on that tip or on that side over there. But let's get to the news clip, man. Rest in, rest in peace to Rich Homie Kwan, man. Pouring in for Atlanta. Make sure y'all put your volume up for some strange reason. This got this news clip volume is low. I don't know, man. So put that volume up. Make sure y'all hear this, man. Pouring in for Atlanta based rapper Rich Homie Quan, whose real name is DeQuantez Lamar. He's known for his chart topping hits. Lamar was found dead yesterday at the age of just 33. Today's Alex Whitler joins us now with more on what we know, including the details from a 911 call. Alex? Yeah, good morning to you, Ron and Elise. That audio recording was just released hours after the rapper's passing. It details this sad discovery. Right now, there's an investigation into his death, but TMZ has obtained a copy of the 911 call 
from his girlfriend, Amber Williams. The couple reportedly has children together. According to the call, Williams left the home to pick up their son for, from school before finding Quan's lifeless body on the couch. Just listen to this. My boyfriend, he's been asleep on the couch. Um, since this morning. Well, he never came to bed last night. Sleep on the couch. I left him on the couch before, before I took my son to school this morning and put a blanket over him. And now I just checked on him again because he never got up. I don't feel a heartbeat. I don't see him breathing. You can hear the walk through and lifestyle. His real name, as many of you know, is DeQuantes Devante Lamar, and he played baseball while attending Ronald McNair Senior High School. In recent tributes, fellow rapper Quavo posted a picture on his Instagram story saying, may God be with us. Never saw this being part of our journey. Even local sports teams are honoring the rapper. The Hawks posted this message calling him a beloved member of our community and a powerful presence in Atlanta's music world. Atlanta United made a post too, saying Rich Homie Kwan was one of the first people to hit the team's iconic golden spike. Ron and Elise, no word yet on funeral arrangements or memorial services, but we do know an autopsy is scheduled for later today to, to determine his exact cause of death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, certainly a loss. Yes, yeah, wow. definitely sad day. Thanks, Alex. Yes, yeah, it's a sad day. It really is. Rest in peace to Rich Homie Kwan, man. And the autopsy, I guess they're going to do it today. We probably can get it tomorrow, probably by Monday, whatever. But it's a lot of it's a lot of questions involving it. Because y'all heard that part of the 911 call. We, I'm going to play the full the whole full 911 audio. Yeah, that part. And we're going to hear what she's not You're going to hear everything. You know, when she's talking to the dispatcher, ah, ah, ah. But see, everybody want to talk about, yo, this fight got outside the door with the wire sound because maybe he snitched. Remember, he snitched on Woody and I'm um, um, Thug saying that they they, they they the one that shot Nut. Rest in peace, Big Nut. Now, I mean, y'all know the situation. Rest in peace to Big Nut down there. That's the dude that was big homie. Big homie to, I mean, to the whole situation. He the one that kind of connected all the dots down there. Paul's as far as like Young Thug, YFN, Lucci. You know, situations like that. I mean, Rich Homie Quan, when he hooked, I mean, he was involved with the Rich Gang on, on, on part two, 10 years ago in 2012. And we're going to get to that with with Rich Homie Kwan talking about his addiction at that time in 2012 when he was doing the Rich Gang with Birdman. Yeah, Big Nut was part of that, Pauls. He was, he was a heavy part of that. He the one that connected that whole situation with Rich Homie Kwan, not me, or, or Young Thug and the Birdman and all that. Yeah, it was Big Nut, Pauls, it was him. So he, he played a big factor in a lot of these dudes' careers. But my thing is, who the hell gave Rich Homie Kwan that pill? Who he went out with that night? See, this is questions that they, they just came like, yo, he just all day and just leave it like that. Nah, nigga. Okay, say, say there's more situations involved with the YSL situation. Rich homie Quan actually did snitch. But then Woody was on stand saying, like, yo, we never had a problem with him. Know what I mean? So we're gonna go through all that. But see, my thing is, there's a possibility it could have been anything, bro. It couldn't, like, the, the, when you knock somebody off, allegedly, and everything I speak on on this video is alleged, when you knock somebody off, the way people do it, they do it by your addictions. You got an addiction on a certain type of drug, all right, they're going to they gonna slowly knock you off. Pause. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They don't just knock you off right there. No, that just going to slowly knock you off. A couple of days later, you're going to feel ill. You're going to start foaming out the mouth out of nowhere. That type of knockoff. So whatever addiction you got, you got a female addiction. It might send a female towards your way. Knock you off. Any type of addiction you got that you weak-minded on and you in that game, whatever, sometimes you got to be on point, bro. That's why these, <clears throat> when these dudes be popping all these pills and all this, oh, yeah, these 30s and all this, they slump drinking lean. Yo, bro, that junk is slowly, slowly, slowly knocking y'all off. Y'all ain't going to be here no more. You can't think right. You always got always emotional. Y'all, it's killing your body, killing your cells, killing everything. It's draining you. Got opium in it. Some of that shit got fitting on it, and most of it got fitting on it. So what you think it's gonna do to you? That ain't no average. You know what I mean? You smoke your smoke your smoke, and you chilling. I mean, you vibing, or you get your little yak, whatever. You drink your little yak, whatever drink you choose. That shit ain't got man. Listen, this this is the type of shit that keeps you up talking, and you vibing. That's that type of shit that keeps you leaning and you falling asleep. 
how the hell are you supposed to be on point while you're doing them type of drugs? So this is a possibility Quan Pai was, because Quan had a very heavy addiction 10 years ago when he was doing the Rich Gang on um, album and all that. But let's go over this audio. They say he snitched a couple, what was it, two years ago, last year with the Young Thug situation, all this. Let's go through this audio, man. Because a lot of people are saying, like, man, maybe they, maybe that was a little sign. Maybe they sent somebody to knock him off, you know, that type of way. Gave him his addiction. You know, the pair. Allegedly, and everything I speak on is alleged. And they slowly just knocked him off. Once he got home, nigga, that shit just had his heart stop and everything. We don't know what the hell happened to Rich Honey Kwan. They just want to assume it's an old dick because his girlfriend um, did the 911 call. But let's go over this snitch allegation that he did. And uh, we told him to come to the lump. You know, he was saying that lump, he was scared to be saying that lump. You know what I mean? Right. So my hand was on the spot. I saw him. We had a show together. I was like, so I'm just asking nigga yourself. Everybody been talking about it. I'm gonna just be a man to ask myself. Right. It's crazy, man. Niggas don't go ahead and do it. We just can't prove it. Right. Fuck my period. I ain't no rat. I ain't telling no. I'm just being real with y'all. I can't have much I love and let that. You know what I'm saying? That shit was real for her, bro. And so, how? Who? Why did you suspect Young Thug when you went down to my house? Because people told you, or did you have some beef with Young Thug at the time? They kind of let you know. I ain't had no beef, bro. That shit was deeper than rap, man. I really feel like that, that was the genesis of the relationship. I uh, shut you up. You know what I'm saying? Shut you up. It was the relationship, man. Because you, you guys seem to be getting along real well before that. I mean, I saw, you know, how you guys were working together in the yeah, summer 2014. He's saying, because you could go hear that junk on y'all own too when y'all do the research. Y'all gonna hear the same type of audio. <coughs> He's saying he ain't snitching. He's saying, man, I'm just I'm just being real because what happened to Nup, man, with Big Nup, pause, that junk ain't right. See, like I just told y'all five minutes ago, Big Nup, Big Nup was part of the whole, he, he, he did a lot of the puzzles. He pinned everybody together. He tried to get an ATL on some of yo, we're going to get together. We're going to rock this. That was Nup back before he passed away. With the little drive-by shooting at the barbershop. That was Rich Homie Quan Father's barbershop. Now, this is Rich Homie Quan saying, yo, y'all can get the paperwork. I ain't no paperwork on. Let's Rich Homie Quan talk about this. Keep this out. Y'all see that like button? That junk is free. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Did I sneeze? Nigga, my name ain't in no paperwork, bro. Suck my... Did, did, did you suck one day, one? Get you out of here, man. Did I sneak, nigga? Man, find my name. Find my name in some paperwork, bro. You me, you know? We can trade, we can trade lives. Oh, God. Did I sneak? Now, y'all gotta remember, man, like... Rich homie Quan, when he did that, that's the part that Rollo was able to like, yo, the whole world was screaming, he a snitch. Now everybody in the comments, you know what I love Rich homie Quan? This Rollo speaking on that part. Rollo basically speaking on part me that everybody in the world was calling him a snitch when that when that video and that audio, when that audio came out. When he was speaking on the big nut situation on Young Thug and all this, he was trying to point figures at Young Thug like Young Thug had something to do with it. That's the that's the part right there that everybody's saying Rich Homie Quan snitched on. But he's saying Rich Homie Quan saying, nigga, I ain't never said young thug. I just said, yo, it was just a messed up situation. We don't know what the hell really happened. But he's throwing subliminal, like everybody's saying that he said young thug, basically. Like I said, you be so messed up in the head, drinking lane, all that sometimes you forget what the hell you said. But do this situation got something to do with YSL situation? What he said might have might have hurt him and uh, hurt Young Thug in court. I don't think so, cause why? Why is Sal Woody back that up in court? Let's continue, man. About his statements. Did you tell police? Now remember, this is the part when Woody was talking about Young um, Thug, <clears throat> talking about Rich Homie Quan. He made Young Thug laugh. The day later, two days later, day later, two, whatever, Rich Homie Quan passed away. But I don't think it had nothing to do with the YSL. Let's continue. Smash that like button. Did you tell police that Thug had an issue? With I think Rich I just Homie you. Quan? I don't think you did. Oh, if you did, I did not hear you. So oh, I'm sorry. I, I yeah, I said it. 
thug was trying to protect Rich Homie. He was calling us saying that, man, hey, man, leave Rich Homie alone. Like, you know, he don't tell me what to do. So that's still the answer to the question. Did Thug have an issue with Rich Homie Quan bringing members of If Gang to his apartment? Thug, did you have an issue so what, with, with Rich Homie? I'm asking you for what you told the police. And I'm and I'm answering you. I just told you several times. I tell the police anything. Okay. Do you recall talking about the shooting? <coughs> Let me tell y'all something, man. I know why I sell Mondo Man and all that, nigga. You was the one that gave more information, nigga. You was the one that told Fannie Willis, nigga, when she was your lawyer, a fake lawyer, and told everything, nigga, in the back end, nigga, saying YSL was a gang, nigga. I did that video with YSL Moon on, on Mondo, nigga. Go check that out. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you, Mondo. What are you doing with what he supposed to do? He got immunity. They can't do nothing to him right now. He's messing the whole trial up. Exactly. So when the Rich Homie Quan situation came up, he messed that up too. Hey, yo, Thug, you got a problem with Rich Homie Quan? That's what he said to Thug in the goddamn trial. Thug started laughing. The whole goddamn court started laughing. Come on, bro. You can't make this up, man. But people want to say, yo, might have Lil Woody, might have knocked them off. Man, listen, that ain't got nothing to do with what happened with Rich Homie Quan. I don't know. Listen, my, my theory is I don't think he old dick. I think it's more too. But I think, my opinion, my smoke, I don't think yeah, that shit ain't got nothing to do with the YSL case. Because this nigga, is, he messing the whole case up, Woody. He already messed it up. You can't believe something. He's not a reliable witness on that goddamn stand. What we talking about here? I don't know. I might be wrong, but a lot of people assuming, yo, YSL, YSL. I'm like, man. I was watching one plat. Before I start talking, let's get to another clip right quick. Where um, Rich Homie Quan talking about Woody when he when he did took the stand. Okay, this this Rich Homie Quan one is like this is like his last interview he did right here before his passing. May him rest in peace. About his statements being said about him basically shooting up her dad's barbershop. Uh, what is the lie? You're watching Key Talk Media. <laughs> the barbershop did get shot up, but it, it wasn't like. I don't want to talk about it, too, but it went like he is over exaggerated because the same day the barbershop got shot up, it was back, it was up and running. <laughs> so it couldn't have been like what he said it was. So we're going to hold that down. Shout out to Woody. <laughs> but no. Okay, yeah. Can I say it can be used against me? That's right. Me and Threat shot up Rich on the corn dad at the barbershop on Bankhead. I don't know what happened with Threat and Rich on the corn, but I'm going to ride with my brother. And they was beefing. And, yeah, we pulled up and did that. Okay. You heard him. He told the judge, I got my immunity, right? She said, yeah, you can't do, they can't do that. All right. My man, my boy Threat had a problem. My boy Threat had a problem with Rich Homie Quan. That's my homie. I'm going to slide with my homie. That's it. <coughs> we went there, we handled our business. Now, see, Threat, he, Threat, dead. Dude, the dude Threat, he, he, he's not here no more. And that ain't got nothing to do with the wife, but I'm just saying, like, he he's not here no more. So whatever Woody's saying, they can't, he's not a reliable witness, bro, is what I'm trying to explain. So the rich homie Quan situation with the YSL involved with that, y'all can X that out. But we can definitely start looking towards another way, like, who was with rich homie Quan before he crashed out on the couch? Who he was hanging with? Who gave him that bad pack? Those are the questions you got to answer. People, oh, now nah. I looked at, man, listen, it was this one platform, big platform. I mean, big platform, nigga, hood, nigga, and all that. I, I, I. He was doing the, um, he was talking about the, I think, Woody situation, the Young Thug trial, and a couple other topics. And then that Quan thing popped up, so he switched over, went on live, did the Quan situation. Shout out to him, though, because I rock with him when he, when he's not drunk. Let's get to that part, because that drunk, that, that drinking, I can't get to that vibe. That vibe is, is crazy. But, he want to automatically assume, allegedly, oh, they sacrificed some this and that, and nah, man, it got something to do with the YSL kid. I'm sitting here watching like, bro, I even comment. I'm like, bro, you bugged out. They ain't got nothing to do with it. He old dick. 
but it's more to it. You could say it's more to it, but that YSL situation ain't got Young Thug ain't got nothing to do with that, bro. There ain't no goddamn sacrifice going on with Young Thug and Rich Homie Quan. You need to look at Rich Homie Quan camp, that part. He not signing YSL. What are we talking about here? Oh, nah, but I'm just about the same. Hey, listen, I ain't trying to hear that. No, who he was hanging with, who he was partying with, what was going on. There's always money involved, allegedly, and everything I speak on is alleged. If you want to go to that side, you want to start playing that 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 part right there. You always got to look where the money involved. Who is manager? Who is this? Bang bang that that that. Those are yeah that part. Because everything that falls that falls back down when his passing go. Okay, he was independent. Might have a little wealth for his kids and all this, but who is we to say? But I guarantee you, a lot of them contracts his managers. Yeah, signature signing with him right in the bottom. Pause. Yeah, that part. So the YSL, we need to just throw that out the way. But I def allegedly, and everything I speak on is alleged. My smoke is, I feel like it's a little bit more to this little situation. Let's continue though. Now this is him talking about his addiction ten years ago when him and him and Young Thug was doing the on um, rich on um, the rich game. Remember that's when they that's when they that's when they popped. Especially rich when we quan. They, they I mean they was going crazy. Peep this out. Smack, you see that light? Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed. I don't know what you're waiting on, man. It wasn't to my approval. But I'm partying so hard and I'm on the I'm on the Molly so gone. I'm thinking it's hard. That was your biggest issue at that time? Yeah, Molly. I was on that Molly like every day, bro. You weren't a lean guy as much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lean yeah. that Molly. But like, yeah, like, yeah, I still I still silk. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But what I'm saying, like Molly. Molly had me gone, bro. I was like on Molly, like the rich game days. Like I was on Molly probably like two years straight, like every day. Like I'm saying, I'm taking Molly before I go brush my teeth. Jeez. You feel me? And so that's that's no way to live. No way to live, bro. But the, like, but then that's when I started feeling like my music was like falling out. I was I was caught up, like I was lost in the south. Right. Because when I'm doing the Molly right now, I'm up, I'm up, like I'm up, up, like flex my biggest song. You know what I'm saying? By myself, double platinum. Like, I'm up, up. It was you see? He feel like when he off them, you know what I mean, them drugs, the body, and all that, he not giving, he's not giving his fans and us the, his hits. Those songs that we used to dancing in the club and all that, you know what I mean? Especially with the rich gang time. <clears throat> with him and Young Thug. But when he fell back, he's like, yo, I, like, I felt like I fell off when I'm off there. See, is that's the addiction. When you so high off that, I mean, you feel like, I mean, that's the only way you're going to make hits and make smash hits and all that. That's not the case. That's your brain telling you that. That's that weak, that's that, that weak mind side over there. Like, yo, you need that. Go grab it, son. Word up. You need that. Go make, make these hits. Nah, bro. You don't need, part damn, pardon me. You don't need that. <laughs> you don't need that, man. But. He's telling y'all, he had a he was popping Molly's two years in a row. These niggas say he's popping Molly before he even brushed his teeth. Every day. He said every day. Lord knows how much he was storing them things back. Might have thrown like two or three back paws. We don't know. Some of these niggas go overboard with it. Put a junk in the lane, all types of them. I'm lying. What are we talking about here? Let's continue though. Now, this is a few days before his passing. Peep this out. Smash the like button. Yeah, man. Quaid with a little trish, man. You know. Yeah. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs, man. Man, my finger be yellow because I be smoking, bro. I smoke, man. I don't know why I do that. It's like, well, hey, but if I don't get my nail D, it don't turn that cold. Stay off my feet, man. man. The best weed strain I had. It's been a couple long, but at the time, Wiz Khalifa, that, uh, Khalifa, 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 Khalifa Kush, KK, that was smoking. But I feel like my weed is strong as like right now. There's no better. If I got a strong weed, like, how about thugger? How about a rest free thugger, man? Look, y'all, don't come in here spamming, man. Here, we all know, I say it every time, free thugger, free lucha, free, anybody locked up. Don't come on my live with that, though, man, please. I'm in a good spirit today. We're going to keep it that way. You feel me? I'm ready to see you and move some movie, bro. We working on some shit now. Been in the mood. But I don't want to be like no 
I want I want to go out like the uh, Denzel Rose. Like I don't want to be no street road. Cause I can change the way I talk. I don't have to talk like I'm from the hood. I can switch it up at times. You know, it really depends. It, re it really depends. You know, my vernacular scratches beyond. <laughs> That's what the T.I. say. Rest in peace of Rich Homie Kwan, man. Man, rest in peace, man. But, yeah, that was a video I guess he did a few days before his passing. The interview I showed y'all, that was one of his last interviews he did when he was sitting down with the female, whatever. Shout out to Key Talk TV, whatever. <clears throat> Shout out to them, Key Talk TV. But there's more to this, bro. We gonna, Now we're going to get to this audio. Now, this is the full audio. Or when his girlfriend called a 911 dispatcher, oh, no, nah, I mean, you know, I went downstairs through the blanket over him. Ah, ah, ah. He was on the couch. He must have crashed since morning or last night. Now, they don't even know how long this nigga was on a goddamn couch. What are we talking about? They don't know how long he was on the couch. Now, when they do the autopsy, they probably going to figure that out. Because remember, she said he don't, she don't know if he crashed in the morning or late at night. You know, 5, 4 around there in the morning type. Let's get to it, though. You see that like? Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get to this audio, man. Rest in peace of Rich Homie Kwan. 7214, what is the location of your emergency? All right, you need police, fire, or ambulance? I need an ambulance. Tell me exactly what happened. Um, My boyfriend, he's been asleep on the couch. Um, since this morning. Well, he never came to bed last night. Sleep on the couch. I left him on the couch before I took my son to school this morning and put a blanket over him. And now I just checked on him again because he never got up. I don't feel a heartbeat. I don't see him breathing. And you said, hold on, you said on the couch and what happened? I said I put a cover over him because he gets a little cool and he's in the living room. And now I just checked on him because I see he never got up. And I don't see him breathing. I don't feel a heartbeat or anything. And I turn him over. I see he kind of foamed at the mouth. I'm sorry. Are you saying he's not breathing? Is that correct? I'm not hearing you. Yes. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Um, if there's yes. a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Is there a what? If there's a defibrillator available... Send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Um, I'm not sure what that is. About. Now, we're going to continue with the audio, but <clears throat> y'all heard of what she said, right? Y'all see that like, though, before I could smash it if you haven't hit that like. Do me that favor. But the audio, she basically said he was on the couch. She was upstairs. She had to take little man to school. When she left, when she came down, I mean, she threw the blanket on him before she, she took little man to school with him. She threw the blanket on Quan, whatever. That's like, and that's crazy to me because I'm trying to figure out what position Quan was sitting on. Was he like, pause, was he laying like this and she just threw the blanket? Was he laying sides, I mean, you know, sideways? And, or was he laying like his back on the couch, you know, front, I mean, face up, whatever? So we don't know about that part, but she said she threw the blanket on him. She left. She came back from dropping little man at school. By the time she came back, she said Quan was still in the same position. She said that was kind of awkward, so she went towards him, and I, 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 that's when she found him passed away on the couch, foaming through the mouth and everything. That's crazy to me, because you telling me, when she came down the first time, threw the blanket on him, there wasn't no foam on his mouth at that time. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Was he sleeping sideways? face towards the couch like this you know what i mean and she didn't really like you know she got to look over his head and see his face that could be a that could be a that, that could be you know what i mean that could be one of those one of those i mean them types that his face was towards the couch sleeping sideways like this and you know she ain't really see his face she probably see in the back of his head sleeping like this sides and through the blanket on him. but for you to come back and you know what i mean you you know what i mean you shake him up and you see the foam and all that it's like oh like What's going on here? Then how long we's on the couch? She said that, you know, he don't, she don't know if he came early in the morning because she took little man by what, seven, six in the morning this happened. I mean like seven to eight in the morning. 
So she don't know if um, Rich Homie Quan came in by like 5, 4 in the morning, crashed out on the couch. But she's saying he never came upstairs to the bed. So she must have woke up, you know what I mean? Because she had to take little man to school. You got to say that's about, what, 7, 7.30? Let's continue with this audio, though, man. Y'all see that light? Smash that like button. Rest in peace of Rich Homie Quan, man. Okay, I'm sending the paramedics to help you now. Stay on the line, and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Okay. I need to know about how old um he is. He's um 34. Okay, are you right by by him now? Yes. Okay, please put your phone on speaker so your hands are free to help. Can I add his dad to the call? He's trying to call me back because I called him first before I called you. Okay, so we need to help. We need to help your boyfriend now. Okay, listen carefully. Lay him flat on his back on the floor and remove anything under his head. He is not waking up. Quick. Ma'am? Yes? Okay, you got to get him to the floor. Lay him flat on his back on the floor and remove anything under his head. Flat on his back on the floor? Yes, ma'am. Help me. What's your name? He's not here. Yeah, he, he Were not, you able to get him to the floor? Yes, he's not. His heart not being like anything. Somebody came. It was a dude. You heard a dude voice. We don't know if that's one of his homies. Security. We don't know. Security something. But you heard a dude voice. When you heard his voice, you said, yeah, he gone. You heard his voice. Old girl still. I mean, it sound like she crying. She going through it. But my thing is, it's got to be. It's a little bit more to this job. It's a, it, I mean, allegedly, and everything I speak on is alleged on this video also. I feel like it's just a little bit more to it. Because the reason why I went through, I'll show y'all them clips in the beginning, because <clears throat> I wanted to paint the picture for y'all, like I usually do. I don't like just coming out there, and I mean, jumping off the porch, get y'all little two clips of the audio and just go crazy. Nah, we can't do that. We got to understand where Tommy Kwan actually had a little problem also with the clip I played you on the No Jumper clip. Shout out to Adam22 over there. When he said, you know, he was here, he had addiction heavy off the mollies. And then the recent video I just showed y'all, his last video that he allegedly, when the, oh, he posted, that's the last live he did, when he was talking about his, his nails is yellow and all this and that with the, with the lean body, show y'all allegedly, come on. So obviously he's still doing them routines. He's still doing the same situations that he been doing for the last 10, 15 years, obviously. So if somebody wants somebody to knock off allegedly, like I said, they're going to get you on that type of note. They're going to get you by getting your addiction right. They're not just going to come over there, bone knock you off and loud ass sound. I mean, bullets. Now they ain't going to do that. Nah, they're going to be like, yo, this nigga got a problem. We're going to give him that. We're going we're gonna to knock him off slowly. That's a possibility. But who, who did that? That's the mystery. Like, who's possibly, and this is only, this is my opinion, because this is the theory that people are just throwing out there. Y'all, the wire sound, somebody knocked them off, I mean, this and that. So, this is the reason why I'm bringing this up. Who possibly could have wanted them knocked off? On what reason, though? Because he said that about the um, big nut situation, pause. But why if Lucci on his way home? That didn't affect his case. He copped out. Thug case looking good the way Woody done. Messed that whole goddamn trial and it made it look like a circus. So far, it's looking good for Thug. They don't really got no witness on Thug. So what he said on that audio really didn't, didn't really hurt nobody. I don't know, man. It's hard for me to believe, y'all. Now, this is Thug in court when he found that young um, um, rich homie Quan passed away. Look at the way he grieved. <laughs>
And that part right there was like, I think it was Brink session. I think it was like, yeah, it was something. I think it was like a Brink. And they found out, Quan, I mean, Quan passed away. So they, everybody, you know, they did their condolence, whatever. But you see, you see Thug grieving. He can't cry. He can't really show no emotions and all that. But that's why everybody like, yo, hold up, man. It might have been Thug because he snitched on him, man. Listen, stop it. Pump y'all bricks. I bugged out. And for the people on them big platforms, like I said earlier, you bugged out too for thinking it's some allegedly a sacrifice. Nah. You might be on point on the simple fact that there could be a little bit more to it. Pause in the back end, like who the hell he was with, who he was angled with, who, who, who I mean, who he was partying with, driving, who, who was with him, who, who was his company. You ain't, you just ain't gonna tell me he popped that in the house and before he went to bed and all that. Nah, I don't think hell no. He must have popped that a few hours before he arrived to his crib. Come on, man. Unless it's allegedly it could have been something else. Old girl came down, threw the blanket on him, took little man to school, came back, checked on him, felt like it was something strange. When she checked on him, she seen the foam in his mouth. She was, he was cold. Ah, ah, ah. Call 911. That's the audio y'all get right there. That's the audio y'all heard. So who is we to say what the hell's really going on here? We just can't say, oh, yo, he just old D. Nah, nigga, he must have popped that a few hours before that happened. Remember, that junk creeps up on you sometimes. They don't just hit you right away. I can't just sit here and say he might have, unless he didn't hear him downstairs, he might have threw one of them back before he went to bed. Who is with a set? But it would have cut back. I mean, he, and he cups around, and he, those are the things they're going to have to say when the autopsy come out and all that. They're going to have to bring out a couple of little information now. Now, they just come out saying, yo, he just old D. That's crazy. Hell no. They family got to, nah, we're going to open that book up now. We got to check in more about this. And I hope his family do, his father and everybody. Because according to his father, his father grieving too. Peep this out. Peep this out, gang. Now, this rich woman, Quan father right here. <clears throat> Smash that like, don't subscribe to the channel, man. Now, this real me Quan of on Pops, he posts this up, know what I mean? He says, unbearable pain. Lord, please, Lord, please help me. I can't understand this. I lose my son, my firstborn, my best friend. Lord, please, let this be a dream. Y'all pray for me and my family. I felt like I'm crushed into a million pieces. That's his Pops right there. Know what I mean? So, and the way his Pops wrote that, I felt like, you know, I don't think they're just going to go with the OD situation. Nah, they're going to be like, nah, hold up where my son was at. We was partying, who he was with. Ah, ah, ah. Let me see the camera him walking in the crib. Let me see all that. I pretty much saw Rich Homie Quan got cameras all around his crib, inside, outside. So you you gotta you go as a parent, you're gonna wanna see all that. Like I wanna see myself pull up, get out of his car, walk in. If he got cameras inside, let me see that shit too. Let me see him walk straight to the couch, nigga, lay down, all that. I wanna see all that. Pause. Like that's his son. It's only right. Now, he don't get no cameras or none of that shit on that now. It, come on, something suspicious, man, bro. I'm pretty much sure Rich Homie Quan had cameras all around his house. Them shit's working. Especially with the snitch allegation he had on him with the, you know, with the big nut situation. He blaming thugging them and all. Yeah, his cameras had to be on. Come on, man. What we talking about? For all enemies, not just that situation, allegedly. And everything I speak on is alleged. But them cameras got to be on. So as a parent, you're going to want to see that. Let me see my son pull up, hop out, park the car in the driveway. I'm pretty much sure they got door. I mean, garage. Open the, I want to see all that, bro. I want to see my son get out that damn car all the way till he laid on that couch. Just the way his girlfriend called the dispatch. He was on the couch. Okay, I want to see. I want to see the footage from when he talked. The first time he pulled in, all the way till he laid on that couch. Because I'm pretty much sure he got cameras in that living room somewhere that show that he's laying on that couch. Now, I mean, you know, they showing footage. I mean, come on. Everybody got cameras inside. Especially the rich people, rappers and all that. <laughs> so your pops. Now, I mean, <clears throat> make sure you check that out, pops. For real. Check that out. Now, I mean, make sure you check them footage when your son pulling up all the way till he laid on that couch. 
Because that's the, he lives, he allegedly OD, he allegedly passed away on the couch. Supposed to be asleep, passed away on this. We don't know. We just heard an audio what old girl said. That's it. It's a sad moment, though, man. It's a sad moment. I mean, rest in peace, Rich on me, Quan, man. But it's a sad moment right here, man. It really is. I mean, he was young. That's the sad part. He was young. I mean, and the reason why I play these clips for y'all, and I didn't want to go straight to it, because I had to show y'all. I mean, Rich, I mean, I mean, homie Quan had a little problem also in the back end. I mean, he had a little addiction and all that. So we're not going to sit and act like, yo, they just gave it to him. He just got a bad pack. Nah, we ain't going to act like that. We ain't going to act like he was brand new to this. But we definitely can say that who he was with, what time, where he came from. Ah, ah, ah. Let's see the, I mean, ho hopefully we don't have to see it. Hopefully his family see the footage of him pulling up, going in the crib, doing all that. You know what I mean? Because I'm pretty much sure his family want to see that, especially his pops. So those are the questions you can actually ask. But that YSL situation, dead, dead. Wait, you know I mean, I don't think, I don't think it was that deep to be doing that. I'm being honest. I don't think it was that deep. That, that, nah, I don't think it was that serious. You know what I mean, I don't think it was that serious. Even Woody post up, rest in peace, Quan, and all that. I mean, a lot of ATL niggas did that. And a lot of the homies that's cool with Quan probably feel the same way I feel. Like where he came from, where he was at, I, 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 did he pop one before he went to bed in the house? Because if they got footage in the house, they'll show you all that. His pops to see all that. I mean, I mean, you probably see, probably popped it in the kitchen or something. We don't know. He probably took a drink with it. We don't know. Camera's a big thing sometimes, especially when you rich, man. Know what I mean? When you rich, you got money, you got to keep them shits on, boy. <laughs> For real. Because you don't know. But y'all see that like? Smash that like button, man. <coughs> Make sure y'all comment it below. Tell me y'all opinion. Tell me y'all theory. <coughs> Pardon me, that gun job. I don't know. I just feel like it's a little bit more to it, allegedly. And everything I speak on is alleged. I just feel like it's a little bit more to it. The audio was kind of, uh, who's the dude that walked in the crib at the end? Like, oh, yeah, you know, he dead. Who's that? Maybe he might be one of his friends, security, we don't know. But it just, like, you ain't see the foam out of his mouth and all that until you came back from dropping little man to school and all that? You ain't see that before you put the blanket on him? That's your man. That's your boyfriend. You telling me just threw the blanket and just walked off and like, all right, little man, we going, nah, nah, hell no. Hell no. Nah, nah. What's going on here? How long that man was, how long that man passed away in that house, man? I mean, that part. Those are the things you gotta look at. Because you just telling me you came down, said, ah, you seen him on the couch, threw the blanket, and walked off. Nah, you ain't go over there, shake him, give him a little kiss, yo, babe. I mean, you ain't do none of that. <laughs> you ain't do none of that. You ain't go over there, give him a little kiss, babe. I mean, you know what I mean? You're not, you not couples all. You know how we are. I mean, you know, you got a girl, she come down there. Or go to the couch, you know what I mean? Shake you, get your little hug, you or something like that. She ain't just gonna throw the blanket on you unless she's mad at you. That's the only thing, unless it's a toxic relationship and you just like, man, let me just throw the blanket on and walk off. That's possible. But that's hard for me to believe. You telling me you ain't go over there and just go like, yo, let me shake him like, see, he okay or something? You just threw the blanket and just walked off, went to school? Nah, what's going on? My, allegedly, I don't know, but what's going on? That just sounds crazy on the audio. I don't know, man. Y'all tell me, Smoke Gang, what's going on? Team Smoke, man. Make sure y'all comment it below. Smash that like button. Y'all see that like? Smash the like button, man. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video. Try to get your badge, Team Smoke, Smoke Gang. Get your membership, man. Let me know y'all there. Be commenting below, because I'm up out it, man. Rest in peace of Rich Homie Kwan, man. Sad moment, for real. Shout out to the A, too, man. <clears throat> Salute, gang. I'm up out it. If they know, they know. It's your boy Smoke News TV. Mm-mm-mm.